It's gold. It's amazing. It's the bell. Hey, everybody. Today, we're going to be saved by the Minecraft bell. That's a really bad joke. Anyway, uh, we're taking a look at the bell, which has been added in 1.14 Minecraft and all of the special things it can do. And it, it literally has magical powers, if you didn't know, like actual magical powers. So let's get into it. So here we are inside of Minecraft. And as I mentioned before, we're going to be talking about the bell. And this brings us to the first point, which is how do you get a bell in survival? What is the easiest way to actually obtain one of these? And the truth is, there is no way to craft a bell. So you have to go find a village and either steal their bell by just mining it up with a pick, or you have to do, 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 go to a village with an armorer, and there's about a third chance that the armorer will be able to trade a bell at the second level. So I have all these bells on this armorer's house. Uh, that's because they're all meeting right now, but one of these guys is an armorer. Here he is. His second trade, uh, the apprentice, is a bell. So we can go ahead and trade him. We have to click that uh, for a bell. So we can get a few bells from him. Come on, give me some more. How many, how many will he allow us to steal before he... The, these are made out of gold, man. What are you thinking? Okay, yeah, okay, cool. So we actually got six bells out of him. This village here, I've looked all around and I cannot find, other than the ones that I added on top of his roof, I cannot find a bell in this village naturally spawning. Uh, the villagers can use the bell when there is a raid, so they will ring it sort of to alert you, but if there's no bell, then they won't do that. Uh, the other cool thing with the bell is that you can change the behavior of the villagers. So all of them right now are gossiping. We set one. Oh, there's the bell. Oh, I found it. Oh, there's bell in the, this village too. There you go. Well, if you ring it, that's as if a raid has started and they will try to scatter into the closest house to save themselves from that raid. So if you want to make sure all the villagers are inside of a house, uh, you can ring the bell. That may be a very good technique the first time you run across a village. If you want to make sure that all your villagers are safe, you ring the bell a few times. They'll go into a house. Then you can use any type of block and just block up the front so that they can't get out. And then you know that you have all your villagers inside of a home that uh, shouldn't be able to be accessed by a whole bunch of mobs, which is a really good thing to do. Another thing I want to mention about the bell is the different ways that it can look. So uh, obviously there is this way that where it's just sitting on the ground and it has a structure in order to support it. But you can also attach it to the side of a block. So this is it sort of hanging off of the side and that will work uh, on either in any direction really so you can have it hanging there hanging over there And then finally is the way that you see over there Which is to hang from the top of a block So I'm just gonna remove that and attach it there And so you can see that there's an attachment to the top of the block So those are all of the different ways that you can have a bell one on the top on the bottom or either on the side on two of these ways the way that you attach it uh, matters because it will swing in the direction of this bar. So this bar is the axis on which the bell will swing. So you can see if we click this, it will move that way. You can see that hitbox as it kind of moves in and out of that hitbox there, which is kind of cool. But if you click it on the other face, it will not ring. I'm just spam clicking here. Uh, same thing with this. If I click on this face, it will not ring. On this one, remember that it did. That's because the axis of the swing is uh, right here on this bar. Same thing with here. If you click over here, it doesn't work. But if you have it hanging from the top, that doesn't matter. You can click it on either way because it's hanging from the top instead of along a, uh, a rod there. Uh, and you can really, really get detailed with this. If I come up in here, you can see this line right here between the two faces. Even if I'm clicking on the bell itself, 
if I'm not clicking on the correct face, see, no click, click, no click, click, just based off of that line right there in between uh, the uh, in, in between the two faces. So uh, the way that you can click that bell uh, does matter. Also, you can shoot a bell with a arrow. So there you go. So you can kind of shoot it from afar away. But if you shoot a face that it doesn't turn on, it won't do anything. So it won't actually ring the bell if it doesn't swing that way. So if you have some sort of weird archery uh, range setup, you may want to make sure that they're all hanging from the top of the block there. It looks like, did I miss that? Yeah, I totally missed uh, and shot it over there. Uh, so if you have some sort of crazy archery setup, you may want to have them hanging from the top. That way you can hit either side of the bell. The bell has one final use, and you can see that if I give myself the bad omen effect. There we go. And a raid will start once we have uh, the bad omen effect, and we're also standing inside of a village. So the raid has started, and if we click our bell here, we should be able to see whenever the raid gets here. Our raid is stuck. This is the dumbest raid ever. Raid, seriously. Get out of the leaves. Finally! Come on, guys. So once the raid is in the area, uh, hitting a bell will affect, you can hear that wonk, uh, it will affect all of the raid participants with the glowing uh, effect, which is really, really cool, which helps you spot where they are so that you can go and try to kill them uh, faster. It looks like our uh, Iron Golem is doing a really good job of destroying this raid. Holy moly, oh gosh. Um, so if you have a village that you want to set up the uh, a raid and uh, do a good job of defending the village, you may want to harvest a few bells to have around so that you can see the raiders as the raid progresses and be able to kill them quickly, which is uh, quite nice. And there you have it. We finished off with those magical powers. You can, you can see where the raiders are just by clicking that bell. Magic. It's incredible. If you think that this is amazing, leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts. Also, make sure that you subscribe for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. And also, Make sure you give this video a like if you enjoyed it. See you next time on OG Craft. Bye.